right guys so the time now is to cease obviously so we are going to start making dinner and over here i've got just a small size of onion one big fresh tomato and this size of spring onion and here i've got my seasoning cube and tuna i'm going to be using one can of tuna some olive oil extra virgin olive oil and my eggs so for tonight's dinner, we are going to be making some um, fried eggs with toasted bread and um, custard. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, this dinner is supposed to be breakfast, right? If you know what I mean, like eating bread with fried eggs and pap or custard it is supposed to be breakfast right <laughs> but this is what we want to eat for dinner like for me personally i think you can eat it whenever you want to eat it at any given time of the day like it doesn't really have to be breakfast lunch or dinner that's my own opinion <laughs> i don't know what you guys think but okay so right now i'm just cutting the vegetables i showed you earlier i'm cutting them into tiny pieces as you can see here So now I just placed my frying pan on the gas cooker and I'm adding just a reasonable amount of the extra virgin olive oil. I'm going to allow the oil to heat up a little bit and then I will add my sliced and chopped vegetables. So now I'm cracking in the eggs into a bowl. Now I'm going to be making, um, I'm going to be frying six eggs, but depending on how many people you have in your family, you can decide to add more eggs and you can decide to add less eggs. It depends, okay? And also for the vegetables, you can add more and you can add less as well. So right now my oil is hot enough and I'm adding the sliced vegetables. Now I'm going to leave the vegetables to get soft, like not really soft, but like once they start getting soft, then I will add my um, eggs. Right now, I'm beating the eggs. I'm just beating it to make sure everything is well beaten or waxed. <laughs> and to that eggs now, I'm going to be adding some um, seasoning cube. The seasoning cube I showed you earlier. So in that seasoning cube, we have two in it. And from one, I divided it into two it's not even up to half so yeah I just added some to the eggs and I added some to the vegetables like make sure you are not adding too much of the seasoning and as you can see also I did not add salt at all because I don't usually add salt when I'm making fried eggs because the fried eggs tends to catch um salt a lot so i don't normally add salt sometimes i do add salt okay but most of the time i don't usually add salt because we have salt in that seasoning cube so now i just added the tuna inside my egg and i mashed it with the fork and mixing everything together so now i'm going to be pouring it inside the frying pan 
and quickly mix it just mix it immediately as soon as i added the eggs i mixed it and then i'm going to cover the pan and let it um, cook on a low heat very very low heat for let's say for about five minutes and then i'll come back and check on it So while the egg is still frying or cooking, I'm going to start boiling my water, um, the water I'm going to be using for my custard. So it's about 5 minutes later now and this is what my egg looks like. I'm just you know flipping it over i'm going to flip it over for these very um eggs i don't really want it to be you know round shape i'm just going to like scatter it in the pan because i'm going to be toasting it with the bread later so it doesn't necessarily have to be in round shape so this is the bread we are going to be using this is my favorite bread like <laughs> it's a whole wheat bread as you can see so I'm just placing the egg on top of one slice of the bread and once I'm satisfied with what I've added on top of the bread I'm going to cover it again with another slice of bread So right now I'm going to heat up my um, toasting machine, <laughs> is that the name? <laughs> so once the toasting machine gets hot, I just placed my bread with the egg, placed it in the toasting machine. I'm going to cover it and let it um, toast until that light turns green like what you can see there I just showed you the green light once it turns green it means that your bread has finished toasting <laughs> so this is what it looks like after toasting them so I'm going to repeat the same process with the rest of my bread Here is all my breads with the eggs. Now I'm cutting them into two. You don't necessarily have to do this, but uh, I don't know. I just feel like doing it that way. So now over to the custard. This is the brand I'm using. We always use this brand and we usually buy it from African store. I don't know if they sell it in any other supermarket. I am not sure But we usually buy this one from an African shop. So I just added um, About four tablespoons and I mixed it together with some water Just mix it until you get a consistency like this It shouldn't be too watery and it shouldn't be thick either so once you're satisfied with um, the consistency, then you can add your boiled water. Like make sure the water is really, really boiled. Like somebody asked me to make a video on how to make this custard. So I hope you are watching this video right now and I hope 
this video helped you when i'm adding the hot water i was stirring it as i was adding the hot water so once you see that it has started getting um thicker you can stop adding the hot water and then continue mixing it until it is very smooth So right now, I just added some honey. You can add sugar if that's what you want, but I'm adding honey because that's what we have right now. And I think that's the healthiest option. So as you can see, my family is patiently waiting for this dinner. <laughs> So after adding the honey, I added some um, chocolate powder. Yeah, you don't need to do this if you don't want to. But I asked my husband who said we should add it. So <laughs> that's why I'm adding it. Usually I don't like adding the chocolate powder to my custard. But today we decided to add it. But it tastes good. It's not really bad. I would say it's not bad at all. You can try adding some chocolate powder to yours and see how it tastes. Okay, it does taste good. So now I'm just, you know, dishing out the custard into our plate, as you can see. <laughs> all right, so now I'm going to be adding this evaporated milk. This is Peak brand. You can add whole milk if you don't have this particular pig milk or if you can't find it back in nigeria custard or akam ogi pap that has no pig milk on top of it or any type of liquid milk at all that custard or that pap is not complete <laughs> so guys it's time to eat come and join us Jesus. 